I chose orthopedics because while I was in high school, I worked in a warehouse of my mother's company helping to develop braces for the knee, foot, and ankle. I really saw how this helped people, helped getting them back up and walking again and improve their lives. Particularly, I chose joint replacement because while I was in residency, I saw what a tremendous impact this made on people's lives, getting them to learn how to walk again. It really helped restore their lives, enjoying playing with their grandchildren, going on vacation, and doing the things they had been missing out on. I think it's real important when I meet patients for the first time to go over all the treatment options for arthritis. This includes everything from anti-inflammatory medications, physical therapy, injections, home exercise programs, etc. It's only after these conservative measures have failed that we then begin talking about surgery. Now, in terms of surgery, we always try to do the most minimally invasive procedure we can. The idea is less damage to the soft tissues, less pain, and a faster recovery. I perform approximately 200 hip and knee replacements yearly, including both primary and revision hip and knee replacements, as well as robotic-assisted partial knee replacements. One of my favorite procedures is the macoplasty. That's a robotic-assisted partial knee replacement. This allows us to do knee replacements through very small incisions using the precision of robotics. The advantage of this is less recovery time, much less pain, and a more normal-feeling knee afterwards. The main advantage of macoplasty is the robotic assistance. Using robotics, we're able to place the components extremely precisely within one millimeter of precision. The advantage of this is that we're able to align the knee perfectly. This allows for a much more normal feeling knee and hopefully will allow for a much longer lasting prosthesis. I had the pleasure of being involved with the macoplasty procedure in its infancy. While I was still in Fort Lauderdale in practice, macoplasty was being developed in Fort Lauderdale. My former partner was the first person to ever perform a macoplasty procedure, and for the first year and a half of my career, I was able to learn under his tutelage. Macoplasty is a great operation for the right patient. Specifically, macoplasty is indicated when you have isolated arthritis to one part of the knee. Every time I see someone with arthritis to their knee, we talk about the possibility of macoplasty. There are some patients where it's the perfect option. Unfortunately, however, macoplasty is not the perfect option for everyone. If patients have arthritis involving their entire knee, it's probably not the best idea, and those patients are often better served with a full knee replacement. That being said, when patients have isolated arthritis of one part of the knee, there is no question that in my opinion, macoplasty is the best option. This is a really exciting time in the joint replacement field. Specifically with hip replacement, we're now doing procedures using the anterior approach. The advantage of anterior approach hip replacement is a faster recovery, less risk of dislocation, with anterior approach hip replacement, one of the main advantages is that we don't have to cut any muscle. Instead, we go through an intermuscular plane in the front of the hip, simply pushing the muscles to the side to access the hip joint. While the procedure may take a little bit longer initially, for sure the recovery is often much faster, and this is a benefit to the patient. Every time I see a new patient we make a diagnosis, we talk about all the options. I always feel it's important to review all of the options and make sure every patient has a firm understanding of the pros and cons. Certainly with any procedure, there's advantages and disadvantages, and ultimately it's up to the patient to choose what they feel is best for them. Physical therapy is a really important part of recovery from a joint replacement. Here at Town Center Orthopedics, we're fortunate to have physical therapy in both our Reston and Centerville locations. Oftentimes, while I'm in these uh, clinics seeing patients, I'll walk over to physical therapy and see my post-op patients as they're recovering. It's always fun seeing people get better after surgery. One of the best things about joint replacement surgery is seeing patients back a year or so later. It really is a life-changing procedure. These are people who could barely walk before surgery, and when they come back a year later, they've been telling me about all these vacations they've been on, graduations for their grandchildren. They've really gotten their life back.